Hello, my beautiful collective. How are you today? I feel as though this is a mother figure or feminine energy, the person in your life who was the most giving, loving, but very grounded, very down to earth person. So some of us love and we're not grounded, we're not down to earth and we have, you know, we, we have situations that hurt us. The advice from them, if you were sitting at their kitchen table having a cup of cocoa or a glass of wine, what they would say to you in the depth of kindness and the de in just the enriched love space that you find yourself with this person. This can also be a friend today, you know, could be someone who is certainly with us and very much in the here and now. But this is somebody who loves you, who loves you incredibly. And we see these beautiful angel wings. So we see this person who loves you dearly. We have the Queen of Candles, which is the energy of the Queen of Wands, fiery, somebody who's passionate, somebody who loves deeply, but really knows how to love, somebody who goes after what they want. We have this energy that says it's time to collaborate. You know, they want to collaborate with you. And the purpose of that collaboration right now is for you to go through this renaissance it's the number 13 the same number as a death card but they want you to go through a period of solitude now that's not physical solitude it's spiritual solitude to go inside here's your own little space here on an island to not take into account what friends say to hold your own counsel you know, to trust your inner guidance, to trust your inner core, to trust your Queen of Wands energy, fiery, passionate, confident, to have confidence that in relationships, collaboration is really key to the relationship. So one of the messages that I'm getting is don't get into relationships in which people do not do their fair share. So collaboration doesn't have to be all one person, you know, you don't have to do all the work. That's really the message here. You don't need to do all the work, nor should you do all the work. So collaboration is something that you should be looking for as you go through life with partnerships early on. Pay attention, pay attention to that detail. Do you have someone who is creative with you? Somebody, if you said, let's go pick apples in Michigan and bake pies and they were completely completely on board with you, would they go out there with the same enthusiasm and pick the apples and bring them back? Would they be side by side? Collaborators are side by side. So then I get this incredible message and it's, it's, it's very interesting because if we look at this strip of cards, we have two more sets of messages here from your loved one. And both, it's flanked by temperance. I have two temperance cards. And so this is temperance and it shows this absolutely beautiful tiger swimming across the ocean, doing that which is unimaginable to others, doing that. And this tiger is exquisite. This tiger has a look of determination. This tiger says, you know what? I can swim on the ocean. I can do this. I can do anything. I can find my peaceful place. I can do whatever I have to do. And we get the same card here. Now, this is the Tim Burton Christmas deck, but I love it for its richness of color. I love it for its distorted sense of reality because we do that oftentimes. We, we impart a a distorted sense uh, of what we need to do. And temperance is really about, I'm going to do my part. I can't, and if you're swimming across the ocean with somebody, you can only swim for you. You can't drag somebody else through the water. They have to do their own swimming. So that's what I'm getting here, temperance, balance. When we look at the temperance card, a lot of times, it looks almost like the justice card. So it really is allowing yourself not to do all the work, allowing yourself to really do your part in this collaborative, you know, this collaborative relationship that even though you're in a collaboration, another message here is that you still need time alone. You're still a separate entity. Always honor your individuality also. So we have two temperance cards here, again, flanking these messages. 
and when we look at the message here we look at the knight of needles and that is speaking your truth and it's kind of cute here because it's like the devil made me do it. Uh, there was a comedian who used to say the devil made me do it, you know, and it really is. This is Gemini energy and it's about speaking the truth. Now, the difficulty with this card is that this devil loves to poke somebody with the pitchfork like he's just he, she is just it has a sense of delightfulness, you know, that speaking the truth is, um, you know, about sacred issues is actually how this person helps life speed up. So when they do this, it's actually to needle you, to needle you into this space that's very sacred, that's very enlightened, that says, you know, only, you know, I want to go there. I'm going to speed up in my relationships. I'm going to go to the sacred place. I'm going to speak my truth. You know, and then we get into this emperor energy, which means I will take command of my love life. In the driest of deserts, I understand that there will always be desert times, times on the desert. You know, there will always be times when I'm in sacred space. I'm spending time alone. Don't, the, the message here that I'm getting is that you can't constantly be in this state of bliss as a twosome. You're still individual human beings. There will be times when you feel like you're not being fed uh, in the relationship, that you need to be watered like a good plant, like, you know, when you're tempted to say something. But what we're seeing here is to honor the fact that even within relationship, you know, it isn't anyone else's job to make you feel in command of your life. You know, we can't expect that of other people. We have to do that for ourselves. So to me, what this means is that your message coming through is that no matter how much we love somebody, we must stay balanced. We must keep track of the fact that we need to do our work and they need to do theirs, that everybody needs some time alone. Everybody needs sacred space. You know, everybody uh, has to be able to withstand the nuance of a relationship. Years ago, I had someone when I was quite young and quite naive about relationships and I wanted my lover's attention all the time. I just expected like to be absolutely treated, adored, you know, constantly have this person's attention. And a very, very intelligent, emotionally skilled person said to me, Donna, even the ocean, the ocean goes to low tide every day. There is a period of time every single day when the ocean takes a break. And the ocean is representative of the water and water represents emotions. And so it's really important for us to remember that we should not try to be at fever pitch all the time in a relationship. It doesn't work. If that is your expectation, then, you know, the, this, the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, you're going to also end up alone you know, because we have a lot of sacred space here. So until you learn to really enjoy and really feel positive about that ebb and flow of energy in relationship and not look for sort of the approval of others and the attention of others to reflect back love to you, you're going to have a difficult time. When we look at, and this is how I really determined that this message was somebody who has probably crossed over for both of you, for both of you. We get the Seven of Cups. This came to me actually around seven in the evening last night. And it was just this, it was almost as though this sort of wolf type character crept into my house and, you know, and it was like, and, and I felt like this is protecting a treasure you know, protecting this space within, bringing a really gentle touch because we think of wolves as predators, you know, we think, but what we see in the wolf pack 
is a dedication to keeping everybody, you know, in the wolf pack, the way you walk in the pack is protective of those who are more vulnerable. The younger, the stronger lead the way and look at all of the issues that are ahead. But this message is coming through from somebody who has departed that feels as though you are unsure. The Seven of Cups, you have a lot of options. You have a lot of choices about the way that you can do things and bringing a gentle touch and protecting the treasure within yourself that knowing that you are a treasure, that you need to really take care of yourself always, no matter how much you love somebody, you have to, you know, you need to bring that gentle touch. You need to honor the, and be treat everybody gently, including yourself. The next message I'm getting here is, you know, learn about relationships. We have the card of education. This is the Empress energy. So this person is, this is the penultimate mother, the earth mother. We have this very adorable, really cute character who looks like, you know, she was the queen of wands and now she's sort of more of a grandma, but she's the empress. She's the grand dame of the family. And she's here to protect you, quote unquote, she. Here to protect you. This is Archangel Raphael. And Archangel Raphael has been sent in to usher you onto the boat, onto moving forward. Six of Swords, this is, you know, that, that boat and the Rider Waite where you go across troubled waters. This is meant to educate you. This message is that you are never alone. So don't put pressure on another person to try to fulfill you or your destiny. You're never alone. Your elders, your ancestors, spirit is always with you. Every moment of every day, you have a guardian angel. So the truth of the matter, the little, you know, knight of swords, devilly kind of energy is, you must keep yourself balanced in this knowledge. And again, with Gemini, we see two sides to the same coin. The message in terms of the Wheel of Fortune, you have good luck coming in. What you're getting here is a message to help you find the love that you want. We have commitment, Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. And what you're being asked to do is to see that you should only spend your time you see clearly now in this message that you should only spend your time on people who are worth commitment. If somebody is not a person that you would really commit, commit with or want to uh, create a life with them as a collaborator, the Queen of Swords energy, Queen of Needles, you know, she's sort of, she's so cute. She's dressed up here, you know, she's looking good. And she has this look on her face like she just drank some buttermilk that wasn't really buttermilk. It's like she went into the refrigerator and it was like, ooh, ooh, I got a swig of that. Ooh, that's sour milk. I don't think I want that. And it's the ability, again, she looks elegant. She's really in charge of who she is. She's looking good. She has her long gloves on. She has a beautiful cape on. And she's like, you know what? If somebody doesn't want commitment with me, I'm going to turn my nose up. I'm going to be gentle. I'm not going to be whacking anybody with a sword or anything. But I'm going to gently allow myself to be protected. I'm going to be my own Archangel Raphael. I'm going to allow Raphael to tap me on the shoulder gently and say, come this way so that I can, you know, so that you, obviously, so that you can um, really make smart, intelligent decisions based on the actions of other people. Because Maya Angelou said one time, if someone tells you who they are, believe them. You know, don't keep cutting people um, the benefit of the doubt when they have repeatedly heard you. We get the tower moment. So what we see here is this gorgeous energy of justice. And so this is a Libra queen. That is who the queen of swords is. You know, I call it the Judge Judy card. You know, I want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and that's how I will make my decision. And so... <clears throat> 
the tower moment comes down by being slow and steady, by keeping your balance, the justice card, by standing on your pedestal of good judgment and, and not making any rush decisions. Time for a deep dive. You don't need to make a rush decision. But what it is saying is that anything that doesn't have a strong foundation does need to be judged accordingly, that things have to stand on their own two feet. And if they don't, you're not going to have a stable relationship. It will come apart. So this is actually in this deck, this is a lover's tar this is a lover's tower card. It's a tower moment of reality. We see a divine partnership coming in that it's it's just incredible. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. And we get the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. This is for those who are listening, both of you, male or female energies. Really seek a relationship, excuse me. <coughs> really seek a relationship that's very deeply felt. You want a heartfelt, emotional relationship and connection. And that is what you're bringing in. So for most of you, you're about to have your really deep emotional connection. It will make you feel like you're flying high Slow and steady wins the race. Do not rush this connection. Both of you are coming into this connection with an injury. This is called heal the ouch. Honor that. Honor the fact that while you're having fun, while you're enjoying yourself, that you can still and you should still go slowly. That both of you are uh, in a situation where you had relationships with people who didn't value you the way that they should have. I love this energy. The final outcome energy and the final message here is reserve judgment. Look at everything from every angle. Do not rush, you know, even when you're flying high and it feels so good, you know. What the card is saying is that you have to be loyal to what you love, but it's also saying that the Sun card, you're going to have the happiest card in the deck, but do not be blinded by someone who's simply fun. Don't be blinded by this, you know, these Christmas lights. It's like, oh, these are so magical. What we're seeing here is that it needs to be the genuine kind of fun. It needs to be somebody with a sense of humor about even the difficulties or somebody who really can be quite playful. Somebody who is sees that they need to be as loyal to you as you are to them. And to take your time, don't rush. The hanged man is all about having confidence. The confidence to hang upside down knowing you won't be there forever, knowing that if you take a hot minute for yourself that you're going to be able to look at the loyalty of the other person in the past you let other things blind you to this in the past you just thought that the fun at the very beginning was a determining factor and what we're seeing here with the dog spirit one and nine is 20 one plus well one plus nine is 10. so it's a new beginning that when you look at people and you look at how fun they can be it's really to look at it with also with how loyal they are to others because when we look at leo energy the sun energy we're looking at the fifth house we're looking at romance we're looking at somebody with whom you can have children of the mind or body with somebody that you can build a creative life with and so you can't be blinded by the falseness if somebody is a a false you know person and they don't give you stability it's like leave it alone let it alone have courage have confidence be absolutely sure because you are going to be blessed with that energy this is a card that really rules this this whole reading is the fact that you are divinely protected and i can't think of an angel that is more beautiful than in this card because this is the angel that's a healer raphael is a healer magus the physician and protecting these two children. One of them is blind, and what we're seeing here is that once across the water, the child sees the light, 
the child has their uh, their blindness is healed by um, Archangel Raphael. And that's what we're seeing, you know, these cards of blindness. Sometimes you've been blinded by somebody with a great sense of humor, somebody who was just great in bed, somebody who was a great adventurer, but somebody who was not loyal, who, who left you feeling wounded. So you have this beautiful energy. Take your time. You don't have to rush anything. Don't rush to judgment. And that is a powerful message. I hope that you found this helpful for those of you who have please comment sending you love from Chicago send some back tell me where you're from and tell me what you think